Thanks for listening to the Thyroid Fixer podcast with your host, me, Dr. Amy Horniman, aka the Thyroid Fixer. Also, functional medicine practitioner, hormone and weight loss expert. We're talking all things thyroid, hormone, and health related in order to empower, educate, and transform you. Remember, I fix your thyroid, I fix your hormones, I fix your life. So let's get started. So this is going to be a game changer for you, and you can probably hear the excitement in my voice. The latest introduction, the latest member of the family to the Fixer line is Metabolism Fixer. And this, oh my God, I formulated this just for all my people out there that need to lose weight, that need help in the weight loss department, that can't lose weight no matter what they do, that feel like they have a slow metabolism And it might be thinking of trying all those peptides out there. You know, the Beverly Hills soccer mom drug of choice for weight loss peptides. Or even if you're on them already and you're like, man, these are really expensive and I'm still not losing weight. Add in metabolism fixer. Here's what I did. I took the power of T2, which increases your basal metabolic rate while you are sitting there watching Netflix. You're burning fat while you're watching Netflix. I combined it with a very unique patented ingredient called Suppressa. Suppressa has multiple clinical trials backing its efficacy in reducing your appetite, decreasing snacking, and providing way more control over your food intake. It is amazing. We also see improved emotional well-being, just decreased food cravings all around, reduced hunger, and weight management. Add on top of that, we have green tea extract, we have purple forest purple tea extract, both of which affect the metabolism in a very positive way without the jitters of normal fat burning supplements out there from the 1980s and 90s, right? The ones that made you feel like you're having a heart attack. You will not have that in any of my supplements, thyroid fixer or metabolism fixer. But metabolism fixer, oh yeah, we kicked it up a notch. It is in powder form. So you can drink it through your day. It's going to flavor your water. We got orange crush and refreshing citrus. I love them both. It is going to keep you under control all day long. So you throw a couple scoops in your water bottle in the morning, throw a scoop or two in your water bottle throughout the day. You will have fat burning and appetite control the entire day for what? An eighth of a price of the peptides? Oh my God, you can't go wrong. So grab some metabolism fixer today. Please let me know how you do on it. I'm super excited for you. Super excited. When you think about minerals, you immediately go to the electrolyte type minerals that's in something like Gatorade. Very piss poor minerals. But today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different in the world of minerals, fulvic and humic acid. And that's what's in beam minerals. And we're going to deep dive into these particular minerals and what they can do in the body, which is really fascinating. They can do things like steady the heart rate. I have a personal story with that. My husband, who was diagnosed with SVT, supraventricular tachycardia, out of the blue, totally came on out of the blue, put on metropolol, which is a drug that kicks your ass and makes you tired. So if you're an active person that actually likes to have energy through the day and do things, this drug, wow, is a woozy. It will steady your heart rate. It'll keep your heart from going into what looks like you're running a marathon when you're sitting down. So it it definitely is beneficial. I'm not saying to not take your metropolol if you're prescribed it, but for him, it was really kicking his butt. We needed something to come in to help with that heart rate regulation so he could at least drop down in his dose with the help of his doctor. Don't do it on your own, but enter B minerals. So I started talking with Caroline And I knew we would be doing this interview. I wanted to deep dive into what are these minerals that's in beam, the fulvic, the humic acid. And I got to tell you, I mean, she sent me some bottles. She's like, here, try this with your hub and see if this doesn't help. Do you know he has not had any blips? He was able to go down in his metropolol. His energy is back and he's taking beam minerals every single day. Actually sneak a little bit more in his coffee too, just to up the dose slightly because you know how men are, right? 
sorry, guys, you're not very compliant. Let's be honest. So in today's episode, you are going to learn more about B minerals, what's in it, what they do, this fulvic humic acid. If you're like, what? I've never heard of these things. I've never heard of that ingredient ever. Well, you are today and you will find out how adding this to your regimen just might be a game changer for you as well. Caroline, thank you so much for coming on. I mean, we met at KetoCon. I've been using B minerals forever. So I've been dying to have you on to really kind of deep dive into this whole mineral thing. And, you know, I mean, we hear chirps in the whole functional medicine space about the importance of minerals. And we're going to dive into this a much deeper level during this conversation. But just to kind of put it out there on the surface for people listening, you hear minerals, right? I'm sure you get asked this all the time. You hear <laughs> minerals and you think, Magnesium, potassium, sodium. You hear, you think about that. You think of Gatorade or electrolytes, mm -hmm. but you take it to a whole nother level. So we're, I, I am very excited to dive into the intricacies of all things minerals. Cool. We have to start with your story, though, woman. I mean, it's a powerful one. So, what got you into minerals in general? What got you into just this whole space, the supplement space, the functional medicine space? Yeah. Let me hear from you. Yeah. So I was in the corporate world and I was kind of a top gun for hire in the technology space. And I burned out of that. And when I burned out of that, I had flatlined adrenals. I had low thyroid. Mm -hmm. I had, um, of course, my hormones were out of whack. I was in perimenopause. I was, I had really bad inflammation in my gut. I had been gluten free for like seven years, but was unable to get past the dysbiosis. All of the bloating and the elimination issues were just continual. I had really bad inflammation in my mouth, which was something I really struggled with. I had bad gingivitis and receding gums, deep pockets and bone loss in my teeth. My teeth were demineralized so that surfaces weren't hard. They were kind of punky down near the gum line. And I had recurring sinus infections every season. I'd get like four to six weeks of sinus, an infection that was really terrible headaches. So you can just imagine where I was at. Yeah. Really. That's so, really bad. And yeah. that was from years of, and, and the thing you have to understand about me is I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I eat really, really well. I exercise. I mean, I've been a health nut most of my life. So I'm not like sit on the couch, you know, eating potato chips kind of person. So I was, I have literally, I've spent hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars trying to heal myself. Okay. During this time, I met my now business partner, Dan Howard, and he had a small business and he was selling these plant-based minerals and essential oils. And he said, you know, you should try these minerals. And so I tried them and I got up every morning and I took these little half ounce caps of liquid and um, that tasted like water. And, you know, and I, every morning I kind of got up and went, okay, yeah, I want to take those. And I'm not a big supplement taker. Um, mostly I've, I've historically tried to get my nutrients from the foods that I eat. Again, I ate very healthily. And what happened was after two months of taking these minerals, I went to my dentist and she did the normal exam. I had my teeth cleaned and I didn't bleed hardly at all. And usually historically I've had to have Novogaine to have my teeth cleaned. They were so sensitive and she didn't have to do any Novocaine. My teeth didn't bleed, my uh, gums didn't bleed hardly at all. And then the dentist came in to look and she, I, I remember she just exclaimed. She was like, whoa, what is different? The tissue in your mouth is completely different. There's such lower sensitivity, you know, very little bleeding when you had your teeth clean. What has changed? And at the time, I couldn't really think about it. I, I was like, I don't know. And then I realized it was having taken these minerals. So I said, well, I think it might be these minerals. She said, just keep taking them. This is fantastic. Now she actually prescribes them to her challenging clients who come to her who have difficult mouth situations. So 
after about four months, I, I had been working with a naturopath and I'd been working with the same naturopath for about a year and a half, trying to heal my adrenals. And my adrenals were completely flatlined or below flatline. My last appointment, she had actually suggested I take hydrocortisone because I was it was so bad. OK, yeah. yeah. And uh, she's like, we need to really do something here. But I didn't want to do that. I wasn't going to get on that. What I experienced kind of thought was a merry-go-round, you know, starting into the taking of pills, you know. So I said, no, I'm not doing that. But we did the adrenal test, a saliva test. And I remember she opened the book and she was surprised. And she turned the book around to look at my adrenal function was one third of the way up the chart with this natural sawtooth pattern that it's supposed to have. And she was like, this is incredible. This is so great. Have you been taking the hydrocortisone. I said, no, I'm not going to take that. Right. Um, I said, I think it might be these minerals I've been taking. So long story short, you know, over the space of about nine months, all of the symptoms that I described to you, although my thyroid, which I, I'm still dreaming of working with you to complete, I believe it's possible to completely heal my thyroid. It's definitely a genetic issue with my family, but I believe it's possible. But that's kind of the last hanging piece, you know, in my in my health story. But all the other issues resolved. My adrenals normalized, my hormones balanced, all of the dysbiosis, the leaky gut, the, the bloating, the elimination issues in my gut completely resolved. The I went through a season and then another season without any sinus infection and all of the issues in my mouth resolved. And I was living this experience. And after about about that long, I, I said to Dan Howard, I was like, forget essential oils. <laughs> we need to get these minerals to more people. Yeah. And I started doing a huge amount of research, Amy. And I, I literally have, I've studied molecular biology and cellular biology and chemistry and soil decomposition, plant decomposition, how soils are made, how I've studied glyphosate and the way it affects the body. I, I mean, I've, I've gotten to the point where I can read scientific studies and I understand all the language because every time I ran into a word I didn't understand, I researched it until I could make sense of it. I had so many ahas in that process that I realized that no one understands minerals and how they work in the body, how depletion works, how depletion happens, that we are all deficient and what the effects of those are. So I just, I am truly on a mission to empower people with this knowledge. Yeah, you really are. I mean, I, I've <laughs> seen you in action and listen, you know your stuff. So we're going to dive into all that knowledge I just want to clarify, because I think this is very powerful. Many of my listeners suffer with low adrenal function or just they have adrenal dysregulation. So they might be flatline like you were. Maybe they're experiencing peaks in the day where they shouldn't be. Maybe they're experiencing that reverse curve where, where yes. cortisol goes up at night and then they can't go yes. to sleep. I think this is so powerful. We have to say it again. You did not, you, you weren't using an adrenal supplement, ashwagandha, licorice. You weren't, you didn't do the HC, the hydro, the hydrocortisone. You did minerals and you saw your adrenal pattern go back into that, that nice half bell shaped curve, correct? Exactly. And you know, one thing I learned recently that's really interesting is the adrenal gland stores minerals. So when you are in deep mineral deficiency, guess what's affected? Adrenals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean that is that is key. The other we're going to talk more about how minerals work in the body, which yeah. is going to even more help people understand of it. Well, yeah. that's where I want to go next because it almost sounds too good to be true, right? People are listening, going, "Okay, right." So you healed your teeth, you healed your gut, you healed healed your adrenals all from minerals can't be that easy. Don't I have to take like 20 different supplements to do all of that? So let's get into how minerals do work in the body at that at that cell level, because I yeah. think that's important to understand how, yes, indeed, you are correct. 
it did all those things. Sounds too good to be true, but it isn't. It just is true. Mm -hmm. So let's get into all the different minerals and how they work in the body. Yeah. So I love to do this paradigm shift because just even in our conversation thus far, we've talked about adrenals and we've talked about thyroid and we've talked about sinus infections and teeth and gut problems and, you know, bloating and elimination, and all these different issues. Okay. And we're, we're taught to think about the body as different systems and organs and tissues and structure and all this. But the paradigm shift is think about it this way. If you took all of the water out of your body, you'd be a little pile of minerals. Your entire body is made of minerals. In fact, if you're in a room, look around the room at all of the structural pieces. They're all made of minerals. Every structural element on the earth is made of minerals. So that's first of all, just the first aha moment is, oh my gosh, everything's made of minerals. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the first thing. So now this, the second thing is, instead of thinking of your body as organs, tissues, bones, skin, whatever, you know, all of these different parts and pieces or issues, let's think about your body as a system of cellular systems. Every structural part of your body is made of cells, your brain, your bones, your skin, every single element is made of cells. And you have like a, a normal size person, you're, you're pretty small, you probably have on the lower end of this, but 37 trillion cells in your body, a large, you know, a large man might have 150 wow. trillion cells in their body. And here's the thing, this is the key thing I want everyone to remember, what fuels a cell are these energy generating units and they're called mitochondria. Mm -hmm. Now, we already talked about 37 trillion or 150 trillion cells, but now let's go even farther into the micro. So inside a single cell on your arm, you might have 40 mitochondria, 40 of these little energy generating units. Mm -hmm. In your heart, you'll have five to 7,000 mitochondria in a single cell. In your eye, 40,000 mitochondria in a single cell and even more in your brain. So the scale of this is really huge. And here's the thing, what fuels a mitochondria? Two things, minerals and amino acids. I didn't so, know that it was that simple, Caroline. I'm going to be honest two, with you. Like I'm telling you, those, blowing me away. <laughs> those two things are the cofactors that are required in kind of the life cycle. It, they call it the Krebs cycle. Right. Of, and mitochondria at every single stage of which there are many, there is required a mineral cofactor and an amino acid cofactor. And those two things go together and they complete that process. And in that whole life cycle, all this energy is generated. They're called APTs, little units of energy. And they generate, you know, we're sitting here talking, we're moving, we're looking at each other, our eyes are blinking, our heart is pumping. All of that energy is generated in these mitochondria. Now, here's the thing. Most people today are operating with only about 30 to 37% of the minerals in their body they need for optimal energy generation in these, via the mitochondria. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a room and you have a light, just take and turn down the dimmer on the light to about 37. We'll be really generous, 40%. Mm -hmm. that's how most of us are operating. No wonder our adrenals are struggling. No wonder we don't have energy, right? No I mean, no that, energy. and that we keep thinking, firing. you know, we should be, you know, we should be happier. We should, you know, this is just a mental, emotional problem, but I'm trying to tell you, actually, this is your body telling you, you need to support mitochondria you need to support energy generation in your body, and it will literally be like turning the light up, turning the okay. dimmer on your light. So I'm going to pause it's you exciting. right there because th this is so beautifully simplified right now. You know, you see so many, there's mitochondria summits, there's mitochondria programs, there's 5 million mitochondria supplements out there, right? To improve right. your mitochondria. 
And you're telling us it really comes down to minerals and amino acids. So you don't, again, back, back to what I said in the beginning, you don't need 5,000 different supplements to get optimized. When we're talking about that mitochondrial function, which we're going to tie into everything. But when you say mitochondria, I think energy with that ATP production. And I think my people with fatigue and that yes. crushing fatigue. Now we're going to get into, and you've already touched on it with the adrenals and the heart. I'll, we'll, we'll get into my personal story when I reached out to you about my husband. Yeah. But so it, it the minerals play a role in a multitude of different functions in the body. But again, for, I, I wanted to pause on that because how many of my listeners out there, or even my patients that are still struggling with fatigue, you know, you think, okay, more thyroid hormone, more exactly. testosterone, more right. supplements, and it might be just minerals. Exactly. <laughs> and it's that it's simple. Minerals. And when you said, you know, that minerals play a function in, I mean, a, a, have a role in many, many operations in the body. What I want to tell you is minerals play a role in every single function in your body. What I want to also be clear is that minerals didn't heal me. What they did is provided the energy, provided the fuel for the generation of the energy in my body so that it could do what it actually can do on its own, which is heal itself. Yep. I, I literally, I changed nothing else. I didn't add other supplementation. What did happen was I stopped craving. I'm not a sh big sugar eater, but I did eat a lot of fruit and I stopped craving fruit. I stopped yeah. craving that, that sweet or maybe the crunchy salty thing, which is like an electrolyte depletion. You know, I just stopped craving those things. So my diet did change, but not because I changed it, but simply because I was interested in different things. Mm -hmm. I, I'm so excited to be able to help people who are so struggling. Everybody, I talk to so many people day in and day out who say, I feel like there's a missing link. There's just that one, there's that missing link. And I'm here to tell you, I truly believe that is minerals. So the main thing that you people should really get is you cannot get enough minerals from the foods you eat. And it's a sad fact. But well, it let's get into that because you've studied yeah. soil depletion. I mean, we hear about that a lot these days, a lot more in, in terms of our fruits, our vegetables, how they're just not the same. I mean, you can taste it even. They're, they're just not the same. They're not the same as they once were. Right. So let's dive into why are so many of us mineral depleted? We're, yeah. we're just deficient. Well, you know, think about this. Uh, I, I love to really break it down for people so it's something they can remember and, and it makes sense. Because a lot of times scientists talk in very large, big words and in some really big concepts. I'm like, let's just let's just talk turkey. You know? So when a plant grows in soil, the way the plant grows is it sucks the minerals out of the soil to develop the structure in the plant. It totally okay. makes sense. Mm -hmm. And for people who've studied, you know, carbon sequestering and different things, they really understand this, okay? So if you grow plants in the same soil over and over and over again, it sucks the minerals out of the soil. The interesting thing I learned is back in the 1930s, they had a whole session of Congress about the problem of demineralization of soils in production farming. And what have they done about it since then? Nothing, nothing. Yeah. Okay. And, but partly because I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to say farmers now they put a lot of nitrates, different things, you know, they try to amend their soil and certainly the organic farmers are trying to amend the soil, right. but the same problems that we have when we get into understanding how our bodies replenish minerals, you have the same problems with soils and plants. So it's not that easy to replenish minerals. So, so we'll get into that separately. But the reason we're all depleted is, is from the foods we eat because they are depleted of minerals. And there's many studies that sh show that the foods that we eat are, have less nutrition than they did when, when you and I were kids. Yeah. The other piece is that we're all drinking bottled and filtered water. 
And those, those waters have no minerals in them. So this is why we've had such a huge increase in all these chronic symptoms that we're dealing with. And we're having like a, a, a true chronic issue of mineral deficiency. I, I truly believe that mineral replenishment is the vanguard of health. The same way that years ago, nobody would heard about probiotics. They didn't know anything about gut health. And now most mainstream regular people know, oh, yeah, I, I've heard of those, you know, at least, you know, right. And they know that they're important at some point. You should probably take some. But minerals are the next thing because we are all truly dealing with deficiency. Parents who have kids who are playing sports, the kids are coming off the sports field with cramps or with heat stroke or, and this is because they start out deficient and they go out, run their butts off and sweat and they're collapsed. I mean, they're really struggling. Yeah, yeah, they really are. Yeah. So wait, back to the water, you just threw everybody off by saying that we're drinking the the bottled water. What should we be drinking? So let's say we have to no. stop and get some no, water. We have, yeah, we have to drink filtered water. Right. Uh, you should not be drinking tap water. I don't think you should be drinking bottled water either, but that's for other reasons. But let's, you know, we're drinking water that has been filtered in some way. Most water that you purchase it, or if you've you know, got a filter in your on your tap water under your sink or, or you're using even a Brita filter, it's taking the minerals out of the water. Now, it's also taking the contaminants, which you, of course, absolutely right. need to do. The thing that you can do is you can use our beam minerals and you can remineralize your water with that, with our beam minerals. That's ideal. Right. So if you're drinking bottled and filtered water, yes, you need to be doing that because you don't want to be drinking tap water and you should be finding good ways to remineralize your water. Okay. So we can okay. remineral. All right. That's good. So I can still get my bottled water if I'm traveling. But then remineralize it with the beam. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Or, you know, so we'll we'll talk about the replenishment. So that's kind of the deficiency issue. The, the last deficiency issue is that we're all dealing with glyphosate exposure. And glyphosate is a weed killer that is sprayed on most grains and, and other foods now. And what it does is it kills the weeds, but the plants have been genetically modified to live while the weeds die. And yep. it makes it easier for the farmers to cultivate and, and harvest. The problem is when you eat those foods that have glyphosate in them, the, the glyphosate has really problematic issues. One of only one of them is that it chelates out important minerals out of your system mm -hmm. that you need. So all of those things together equal major mineral deficiency across the board. That's why the scientists say probably maybe 30, 37% if you eat well. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, based on what you're telling me and the fact that literally, I mean, if, if any of you know farmers, which I do, everything is sprayed with glyphosate and it's pretty scary. So even mm -hmm. when you think about, you know, we go out and hunt, and we hunt deer, those deer are feeding on the sprayed crops day after day after day. So you think you're doing good by, you know, hunting wildlife. It's wild. They're, they're pasture eating. Yeah, they're pasture eating the glyphosate. Everything is sprayed. So it actually surprises me that it's not a worse stat. You know, I could see us maybe being 80% to 90% depleted in minerals, honestly. Mm -hmm. Oh, some people absolutely are. And especially older people who yeah. even and people who eat lots of processed foods and it definitely can be worse. And so we're dealing with depletion. And and what I want to help people understand also is mineral deficiency can look like, you know, things like we're aware of, like hair loss or your nails chipping, you know, those kinds of things. But it can also look like not being able to sleep well at night and anxiety, depression. So lots of emotional issues are actually associated with glyphosate exposure and with mineral deficiency. So if you have these things and you're going to a psychologist or a psychiatrist, which I've spent years doing those kinds of things. <laughs> so what I, I highly recommend seeing if you can find, again, a, a full spectrum mineral solution for replenishment. So 
Yeah. But you're speaking my peeps things. language, especially with the hair loss. So. Right. Hair loss and cramping. Anybody has night cramps and menstrual cramps. I'm going to tell you that all cramping in the body is the body telling you that the mitochondria cannot generate enough energy to release that muscle. And that's why it's cramping. Okay. So if you provide mineral support, for, especially if you have any women who listen to your show who are menstruating and they have painful periods, I have so many women who once they start taking minerals regularly in this full spectrum way, they stop having the painful periods. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, how can we test, Caroline? Because, I mean, I've had plenty of people go out and they get the HTMA test, the hair yeah. tissue mineral analysis test. In your opinion, is that accurate? Like, how do we actually know if we're mineral depleted? Yeah. So, well, first of all, I asked recently a, a real mineral expert about this. I said, so how do you know if one of your patients is mineral deficient? He said, right. he, they're coming to see me. <laughs> <laughs> they're all okay. deficient. Okay. So first of all, you can guarantee, I am telling you, even if you take a whole bunch of pills and powders and electrolyte supplements, I'm telling you, you are deficient in some minerals. And if, if you're not deficient, you've got imbalances. Uh, I've been taking these minerals for eight or nine years. Now, when I do a scan, they look at my scan and they're like, whoa, we never see this. Okay. So, and that's literally because I take these every single day and I've been doing it for a long time. So my, my body has remineralized. Okay? okay. It is really useful to get tested. Hair analysis is a good way. Now, how you're going to get your body back from those depletions, that's a whole other story. There's another test that I highly recommend, and it's called Oligoscan. You have to be physically with the practitioner who gives it, but it's a non-invasive scan. It uses this, it's called photospectometry, and it's from material sciences. It's a very stable science. It shines a very bright light into your tissues, and it will tell you all of your beneficial mineral levels, your heavy metal levels, your electrolyte levels, your vitamin levels, overall oxidative stress, as well as some other markers that are less well known that I won't mention that are really important for overall health. Okay. So I highly recommend people. And if people are interested, we could put the link um, in your thing so people could go and find a practitioner if they want. Yep. I've, I've talked with many, many experts about this, vetted this completely. I feel this is the state of the art of mineral testing in the body. Hair analysis is a, runs a close second. It's just, it's, it, you have to wait for it. It's just not very convenient to do. And the other thing is that if you're not an extractor, meaning if your tissues tend to store heavy metals instead of extracting them, you're, you might not get an accurate read of where you are, particularly with the heavy metals. So that's what I recommend for testing. But the bottom line is you don't need to wait to be tested to take minerals. Right. You can pretty yeah. much assume that you're going to be depleted. I mean, just based yeah. on the two things that we discussed earlier. So, yeah. 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 So how do we get them back? How do, yeah. how do we, how do we replete? Yeah. So this is the really cool thing. And the thing about replenishing minerals is we have been taught to think about our body kind of like we think about a car. So, you know, you've got a gas tank, fill up the gas tank. You've got, you know, maybe you should need some window washer, washer fluid or fill up your radiator or add some oil, you know, mm -hmm. and we've think about our, we've been taught because of something called minimum daily requirements that some scientists somewhere in a lab defined. We've been taught that we need a certain number of milligrams of potassium or magnesium or whatever per day, which is what I call the car mentality. When I started researching, Amy, the, the replenishment system in the body, I was absolutely floored because it doesn't work that way at all. You don't have a reservoir for magnesium or for potassium that you can just fill up a tank for, you know, sodium or chromium or some other specific mineral. So let me explain how it works because this is truly not only empowering for mineral replenishment, but I want people to think about what we're gonna talk about relative to all of the supplementation they take. Okay. 
Okay. So the first thing we have to talk about is this buzzword bioavailability. So we all, and people are often taught to take certain minerals or certain supplements certain times of the day or with or without food or oil-based or different, you know, because of their, their bioavailability. So what, what does that actually mean? So there are three stages of bioavailability. The first is digestion. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. The second is absorption, and that's from your gut into your bloodstream. And the final is assimilation, and that's from your bloodstream into your cells. Mm -hmm. One of the things about minerals in particular is minerals do nothing, most minerals. There's a few that do things in other places besides inside your cells, but most minerals is where do the mitochondria live? Inside the cells. That's where we have to get the minerals. We have to get the minerals all the way broken down small enough so they can be absorbed into your bloodstream and then assimilated into the cells where they can be available to the mitochondria for energy generation. And if they don't, guess what happens? Your body has to work to eliminate them because they're considered excess. They're considered a problem in the body. So the, the interesting thing about it is if you take 320 milligrams of say a potassium, that's made from a shell. First of all, let's think about your your human gut. How well does your human gut break down shells? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that doesn't sound too good. Right? And Material not that's effective. Made, not very well, right? Yeah. You only actually ever digest about 10 to 12%. The rest of it, your body has to work to eliminate. And in fact, people who take too much magnesium experience uh, diarrhea. Diarrhea, yeah. right? Yep. And that's the body saying, I've got too much. I need to get rid of it. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And in the process of putting that 320 milligrams of potassium or magnesium or something in your gut, you've created imbalance. So what we know about the gut microbiome now in, in modern, you know, in the functional medicine space, certainly, we understand that it's this beautiful microbiome and it's, it's all about balance and creating this, this natural environment where the proper gut microflora can grow and propagate and the, the unbeneficial microflora don't have a hospitable place to live. And the problem is that when you're putting these large amounts of what I call mega dosed formatted minerals into your gut, you're creating constant imbalances. So let me tell you a quick story. I, this is an aside to our bio, bioavailability, but it's something that illustrates what I'm talking about. Okay. So we work with athletes a lot and athletes have historically been told to take lots of magnesium because yes. it supports their intense activity. Well, so Gatorade we Gatorade thing, right? Yes, right. Well, Gatorade and and of course and then there's all of the other powdered electrolyte supplements that people take and I I won't name the brands, but you know right. them. Right. And so these these athletes come to us and they say we're struggling with hydration, we're struggling with feeling replenished, they're constantly dragging with their energy and they get bad cramping either when they're working out or at night, they really, st or some, th some of them have what's called fasciculations. People call it creepy crawlies. It's different, weird, your muscles just do these, they constantly switch. Uh, like they're like yeah. moving, yeah, fluttering. Yeah, it's like worms under your skin, okay? Yep. Um, they come to us and we say, okay, stop taking all of your other electrolyte supplementation. Stop it and only use these full spectrum plant minerals and all of their, things start to resolve. They stop having fasciculations. They stop having cramping. They start feeling hydrated and replenished. And that's because what they're allowing their gut to do is to become balanced. And they're infusing their gut with these low amounts of extremely bioavailable plant-based minerals. Mm -hmm. And how well does your gut digest plants? very easily, right? Your gut is evolved to digest plant materials. The human gut is evolved to digest plant material. So that's the first stage of bioavailability is this digestion. Okay. So the thing, the other thing you have to realize is that lining your gut 
are these finger-like structures. They're called villi. And lining each finger-like structure are these epithelial cells. And lining each cell are these receptor sites. And what blew my mind is that these receptor sites are specific to specific elements. It's not like just they're all catcher's mitts and they can catch anything that lands at them. No, you've got a lot of receptors for magnesium and potassium and calcium. You use a lot of, we call these macro minerals, but you have a smaller amount of specific minerals like molybdenum, copper, phosphorus, things that you probably wouldn't take a pill for. Yeah. Okay. But they're very, very important for functions in your body. So, Rather than using like a, a electrolyte supplement that just has these big four macro minerals or big five macro minerals in, in these large amounts that are creating imbalance and aren't even very well digestible, you're going to use plant-based material that provides all of the minerals that you need. And in a naturally formulated quantities, there's a, in these plant-based Minerals, there's a lot of magnesium, potassium, calcium, et cetera, that you use a lot of, but there's the right ratios of chromium and selenium and phosphorus and molybdenum and copper, all those others. So, so now what that allows is your body to have available all the minerals it needs for those to fill those receptor sites and absorb into your bloodstream. We're, we're going to talk about B minerals, because, but I have a question right up front here. You're talking about the copper and the magnesium and all the different minerals that we know that we yeah. will see on a label or yes. if we buy a big old multi-mineral right. something or other supplement. It don't really exist. You're gonna, yeah. Right. <laughs> you're gonna, or the colloidal minerals and all that. Yeah. You're going to yeah. see all those listed out. We need to get into what is fulvic and humic acid, because yes. that's what you're going to see on B minerals. So I guarantee you the question you're going to get asked and your email will blow up is Caroline, you were talking about all these other minerals and I'm seeing fulvic and humic fulvic acid on here. Exactly. And we are actually really working on a way to communicate this on our website because it's, it gets complex very quickly. And we, we have a great idea. It's going to take us probably a month to get it up and available. So let me, I'm just going to mention the, the one last piece of bioavailability, and then we're going to talk about humic and fulvic and why okay. they support this. And then, and that will lead us right into beam. So now that you've got these digested minerals absorbed through these receptor sites in your gut lining into your bloodstream, they still have to get into your cells. And the way that happens is, an, a, you know, you have a cell and a little channel opens like a door in your room, and then the minerals can go in, okay? Mm -hmm. The problem is that most things that cross a cell wall require a specific receptor also. So it's not like just anything can go in and out. Of course, that, that makes sense. So now let's talk about humic and fulvic because this is the amazing thing. Okay. Is that humic and fulvic is truly a an earth technology designed to support mineral replenishment for all cellular systems. These are actually the mineral delivery tools that are used for all the plants that are in your garden or in your house, or that th those are the mineral delivery tools. Okay. So let me talk about them. They're two different molecules. Let's let's describe where they come from first. So imagine an entire rainforest back when the dinosaurs lived. And this entire rainforest decomposed into this mineral rich substance. It's called humate. It's a black crystalline substance. There are other substances around Earth. The Earth one is called shilajit. People have heard of that. That's from the Himalayas. There's also a substance called peat, which is also a humic fulvic substance. They, they have a few other names for it, but we're gonna, what we use in our product is called humate. Comes from the Southwest United States. It occurs about 12 to 15 feet below the surface of the earth, which means it's very pure. It hasn't had any contact with modern pollutants. That material inside of humate, there are these two molecules. One is called humic, and the other is called fulvic. I'm gonna describe fulvic first. 
So fulvic is a molecule, and as part of the molecule, it includes 70 plus minerals. And those minerals are formulated naturally in exactly the ratios that your body utilizes minerals and also is made of in the same way that your body is made of uh, minerals in the same ratios. That's, the, that's how it's formulated. So already it's a fantastic tool that supports mineral balance in your system. Mm -hmm. This very, very small molecule does some amazing things. It's what is called a flavonoid. And many of us have heard that term, but what is a flavonoid? It's an intercellular transporter. So this fulvic molecule is much, much smaller than a cell. And what it does is it carries nutrients and minerals across the cell wall and into the cell. Now, the beautiful thing about the fulvic molecule is that it is designed to go through any opening that opens in the cell wall. So if you have a door, any door, any opening, the fulvic gets a free pass through the cell wall. That is a really an important factor. So once it goes into the cell, it does something that no other molecule on earth can do. It changes its polarity. And when it does that, all the mineral content, all the nutritional content falls off the molecule. And now it's available to the mitochondria for energy generation. Okay. So it is literally a mineral and nutrition delivery system. I was going to say, because I'm conceptualizing this, picturing it, if we just take the fulvic and the humic, that's going to be good enough to transport what we need and replenish the cell. Yes. And not okay. because of the way this fulvic molecule works, not only is it going to support uptake of all the mineral content, it's going to support the uptake of thyroid, of thy, thyroid, levo, th I don't know, whatever thyroid that it's going to, it's going to support the uptake of all of the nutrition that you put in your mouth. Okay. So even, yeah, thyroid hormones. So if we're taking T4, T3, T3, whatever that is, we want to get it broken down. T4 has to convert to T3 to be taken up by the cell. So the cell only has the receptor site on it for T3. So if we're taking the fulvic and the humic, and I'm actually wondering, Caroline, here's I'm the thing, if, it's, if the T3 is, can, is, is actually in, in part of that fulvic molecule, it might not even need the receptor, you see. This is what okay, because it'll do, get delivered right into yes. the cell directly. And, and I'm brainstorming here while I'm on with you. I'm wondering if those people out there, and some are my patients, some are just listeners, who can't tolerate T3. You know, you give them a little bit of T3, and they almost get they like they get jittery and anxious. Yeah. And mm -hmm. if we use the minerals instead, mm -hmm. I think that they could tolerate it because it's going to heal their gut, which is one of the main reasons why someone can't tolerate it. Number two reason is adrenal, low mm -hmm. adrenal function. Mm -hmm. And then number three would be just the actual, I'm just thinking of the actual transport into the cell. I think that this would heal on so many fronts and maybe allow that person to take T3 and increase their T3 like we want them to instead of staying at a really low dose that isn't doing anything for them. Exactly. This is I I'm telling you this little aha moment you're having is the one I'm I'm so excited about. Right? <laughs> when I first you came to you hear start you piecing speak. it together. Yeah. When I first heard heard came and heard you speak at KetoCon a couple of years ago I was like, you and I have to talk. So I'm very, very excited because I, th I, I truly think that this could be a real match plant-based fulvic with the thyroid work that you're doing and the, uh, you know, your knowledge, your in-depth knowledge of that. So let's see, see who we can help. <laughs> yeah. I want, I, I want all my peeps out there listening, especially if you're one of my patients that if you are in that space of, cause Caroline and I talked about this at KetoCon, we're like, who are the tough cases? I'm like, I have to go back home and think, Caroline. I got to think about it. But mm -hmm. all of my tough cases out there that, you know, just like I said, you can't, you're not going up in the T3. You're stuck. You're frustrated. You know, you need to because your T3 is a 2.3, but you can't tolerate it. Or anyone that everything looks perfect. I talked about this on a couple of podcasts ago. 
every number looks perfect. Your hormones are balanced. They're optimal. Thyroid is optimal. We're sitting here. You don't have gut issues. Your cortisol is great. What do we do? What's that next thing? So I'm going to call this podcast the missing link. Yes. Because I think this might be that missing link that those tough cases need to catapult them. I truly believe that. I really, I mean that, I, I truly believe that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's the full, so the fulvic, and I want to talk a little bit more into the fulvic because this is also really amazing. Mm -hmm. So the fulvic molecule has carried these nutrients and, and minerals and T3 into the cell. Okay. And now it has changed its polarity and those things have dropped off inside the cell. Now they're available as cofactors and for utilization by the cell in the mitochondria. And now what clings to it in its new polarity is bio-waste, environmental toxins like nanoplastics, glyphosate, mm -hmm. heavy metals, free radicals that have gotten inside the cell and are causing inflammation. Mm -hmm. And it carries those now out of the cell. And then okay. it changes its polarity again, and those things drop off inside the bloodstream. And now we get to talk about the humic molecule, because the fulvic and humic, they occur together in nature, always together. Mm -hmm. They work in this synergistic way. They truly are a technology. So this humic molecule is a very large molecule relative to the cell. The way I like to think about it is, uh, just because it's a visual image people can think of, it's like a Velcro ball. It's very, very sticky on the outside, has a huge amount of surface area, and it's, it's, it's covered with receptor sites. Okay. And what it does is it goes through your bloodstream and it gathers free radicals. So it is like exponentially the best antioxidant that you can have in your system, thousands of times more effective than any superfood or superfood mix mm -hmm. that you could find. It chelates with heavy metals. So free roaming heavy metals that are causing other oxidative stress gathers those. It gathers just general bio waste and detritus that happens from autophagy or any other processes in the body. And it adsorbs, and that's a particular term, glyphosate So and, and other nanoplastics and other... We're detoxifying. We're grabbing the bad so, shit and excreting it out of the body. Exactly. And the thing about that's really cool about it is once it gets so heavy at a molecular weight, it falls out of solution and it leaves a system through all of the elimination channels. And people who work in detox understand that when you're trying to detox it, they talk about having certain channels open. The beautiful mm -hmm. thing about the humic is it uses every channel. It will just take it out. So the fulvic does the nutrient uptake and the intercellular detoxification, and the humic does full system detoxification. So these two things together, and they both provide the full spectrum of minerals that you need in balanced forms, and particularly for any aging women who are dealing with you know, calcium or calcium issues with osteoporosis, osteopenia, I'm telling you, using plant-based minerals is the way to go. It is the way to go because not only is it providing the mineral content, it's providing the delivery system for those minerals into, into the cells. So Yeah, please don't use the Sally Field drug for your bones. Use minerals. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Use me minerals. And you know yeah. what, Caroline? I've been giving this to my dog all yeah. along because I heard a long time ago that fulvic and humic acid are good for dogs. Mm -hmm. Didn't know why, but I'll give anything to my dog to just, you know, make them healthy and make them live longer. And now I understand the why. So now that yeah. you've just explained what they both do, I'm like, that's why. Well, and particularly, you know, so people who have dogs and they take them for walks, the dog's noses are right down where all the glyphosate is. And if you think you're living in an urban area, so you're not going to have glyphosate because it's not agricultural, think again, because yep. all of the roadsides are sprayed with glyphosate to keep the, the weeds down. Your neighbors are using it. You might have some in your garage to, you know, yep. kill the, those weeds that are growing in the cracks in your in your sidewalk or something. Of course, I'm hoping you're going to think again about using that, but right. that is one of the best things. So we actually have a pet line now. We oh. have, yeah, we have minerals for pets for both cats and dogs. And they're, 
They are the same humic and fulvic products. They're just provided in a way that's really easy to dispense for your, for your yeah. pets. But, so that's a great thing. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, talk more about how'd you develop Beam? I mean, obviously it came from your own experience. Yes. But you really honed in on quality and I, I mean, I get it. You, you your name's behind this. So <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah how so did the, you, how'd you yeah, do it? How'd you do yeah, it? And really this is the brainchild of my, my business partner, Dan Howard, but the, the beauty about our products is and, and for people who try them, if you've tried other mineral supplements, whether you've tried liquid supplements or colloidal minerals, most of them taste terrible. And, you know, if you're really committed to your health, you probably take a lot of bad tasting things. But if you're, you know, if, if that gets really old on you, it's nice to take something that tastes like water, is super easy to take. You can put it in any drink if you want to, but you don't have to. You can take it out on an empty stomach. It won't break a fast. It has no hide it. contact. Yeah, exactly. You can hide it in your kids or maybe your husband's food. Yeah. Just say, <laughs> you can hide it. Exactly. And, and that's the beautiful thing. I mean, kids, kids love it because it doesn't taste bad. And lots of times parents are trying to get their kids to take things. And particularly around the glyphosate. And I really want to say kids' bodies are smaller and they're more affected by glyphosate exposure than adults. So really important to get your kids taking some, some plant-based humic and fulvic minerals. Mm. So our products, we have two products. One is called Electrolyze and I guess I'll show it. So this is our green bottle and this is the fulvic supplement. It's great for just the foundational mineral support that you would take every day. You take half an ounce of that every yep. day as your standard mineral support, but you can also use it for all of your other electrolyte supplementation. So in instead of taking mega dose macro mineral supplements, you just take, if you're, if you're a runner or a biker, or you go to the gym and you work out and sweat a lot, you just take an extra cap of this. This you, you don't have to worry about taking too much of this because it's trace minerals. Yep. So you can use this in your kid's water bottle. They'll never know it's there. <laughs> yep. It's just, it's an incredible tool for electrolyte replenishment and also for just foundational mineral support. Mm -hmm. This one, which is called MicroBoost, is the humic supplement. And that one you would also, as your foundational amount, most people would take half a cap a day. That's for an adult. You could just lower it based on the weight for a, a child. I think we've got some information on our website about that. So the humic, again, is that detoxification agent. The two together are, we call our advanced set, because really what you want to do is take both together every day. The one thing I'll tell you for, our, for your listeners is that for people who have autoimmune, I have that. If people who've had mold exposure, I have that. People who had really strong reactions to COVID, and have what we call spike protein loads in their system, yep. you can easily have what are called Herxheimer responses. We have a great article on our website. I'll provide the link so you can put it in the notes. But all you need to do is just do a slow introduction method with it. So rather than taking this as a shot, a normal, a regular person might be able to just take this as a shot with, you can take it on an empty stomach, it won't cause it any, you can take it any time of the day. It's super easy, okay? But for somebody who's very sensitive, you would just start with a small amount, maybe a quarter teaspoon in some water. I've, I've never worked with a single person who wasn't able to get over or stop having any kind of Herxheimer. It's called, um, it's just a histamine kind of response. Yep. So if they just do the slow introduction method. Okay, well, that's easy enough. And you have so a spray that, too. Oh where, yeah, I know. I really. Where is my spray? Hang Your on. spray. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I don't have it right here with me. But we have a spray. It's called Instalites, and I'm telling you, this spray is amazing. I use it every day, which is probably why it's not here because I was I had there, it. In the you're, back. you're running out. You know what? I'm going to bring it to my <laughs> office because I can see just sitting here. Just I use that. it when I blow dry my hair. I use it as a toner. I use it because I work on the computer all day. My eyes get really tired. Remember how many 
mitochondria are in your eyes, you can just spray it towards your face and blink your eyes and you're feeding the mitochondria in your eyes. Again, as I said, all cramping in the body is mineral deficiency. So you can use it on any cramp that you have, whether that's a menstrual cramp, a tension headache, or leg cramps like night cramps. Now, if any of your listeners get leg cramps, I'm telling you that is your body telling you you are mineral deficient. Mm -hmm. The way to use a spray, it will change your life. First of all, you need to be taking minerals internally to completely eradicate the cramping. But until you do, the way you use the spray is before you go to bed at night, you spray your legs and you let the spray dry and you've provided the mineral content directly to the area that is mineral de depleted. You won't get most people. I mean, very, very few people will get a cramp then. Game changer. Game it's changer. a game changer. It really is. I'm yeah. so happy to have met you because I really think this is <laughs> such. No, I love, I love finding those nuggets of wisdom and solutions that I can use with my patients. You know, the ones that I'm thinking of that we tie that I'm like, ah, what's going to push them over the edge? What's going to do this? And when it's simple, you know, this isn't a $500 heavy metal test. This isn't, you know, the $500 GI test. This is just, you just added minerals and that could tip the scales in your favor. I mean, it's just so simple. That's what I love it. I'm so happy I met you. Yeah. yeah. And you know, the thing is, if you can stop taking all those pills, um, if you're taking other mineral supplements and powders and flavored drinks and things that really have such low bioavailability and you can just switch to taking these, you know, yeah. a half tap of this every day for a normal person, that's all they need. Yep. Um, you know, it costs just a little over a dollar a day, you know, so it's, it's no truly cost effective. And a, this, like, finally, what I call a simple multi mineral solution. Yep. Exactly. One thing I say to people is, you know, a lot of people have a cupboard at home filled with pill bottles yeah, of things that just never, never did anything. A lot of them are minerals. Yeah. So imagine taking a supplement where you really feel the difference. Yeah. And that's the key is yeah. being able to feel and see, see the difference. Yeah. So yeah. Caroline, thank you. Thank, thank you, thank yeah, you for yeah. coming on today. I mean, this has been absolutely fantastic. We'll have all the information in the show notes, the links, everything. And I'll have to grab that article from you too and put that in the show notes as well because I think people will it. love that. But go ahead and verbally so you can tell people where they can find you. Go ahead and tell people where they can find you and then we'll put the links in. Yeah, well, we, we can, you can find us at beamminerals.com. And I think we might have given you an affiliate discount yeah. that you can use with yeah. your, is it Dr. Amy? Dr. Amy, D-R-A-M-I-E. Yeah, we'll put that right alongside in the show notes for sure. Yeah. And we'll, we'll provide your link down there too. So they can just link through and it'll automatically add it, I think. So make it easy for them. Well, thank you for doing that because this will incentivize people. You save a little bit, you got to try things out. So take advantage of it. I really believe this is a missing link for so many people. So I'm, I'm excited to, to help people get remineralized. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And I expect anyone that tries this, you got to post your story in the Girl Fix Your Thyroid Facebook group. I'm going to forward those on to Caroline because I want to know. I want to know how this is that missing link for you. So, and if any questions show up on your on your uh, Facebook or whatever that is, that group, please forward them on. I'm happy to answer any questions. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Caroline, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, I'm very pleased to be here. Thank you.